Dental radiographic exams are one of the primary diagnostic tools to determine disease states and to formulate the appropriate treatment. Radiographs should be prescribed according to selection criteria guidelines. These guidelines are based on a variety of factors, including the patient's medical and dental history, clinical signs and symptoms of disease, risk factors, age and dentition, and new or recall status. Dental radiographs are valued diagnostic tools when the image quality is adequate enough for proper interpretation. To do this, it is imperative to correctly place the image receptor in the mouth and ensure that the primary x-ray beam is centered and aligned correctly in both the vertical and horizontal angulations. At this time, it is crucial to minimize patient exposure to radiation. Successful images require the use of careful technique and precautions to maximize their diagnostic and interpretive value. This video is provided by Densupply Serona and is to be used as a guide to enhance the clinician's skill in acquiring quality radiographs. This informational guide is not intended as a replacement for the Directions for Use manual for any product shown. Always check your manufacturer's guidelines for recommended use of equipment. The paralleling technique is used for both periapical and bite wing radiographs and is the most accurate technique for taking these projections. Receptor instruments with X-ray beam ring guides improve the accuracy of the PID alignment to ensure correct beam angulation and centering. Receptor instruments combine a receptor holder with an arm that has an attached ring indicating the position for the PID. This helps the operator avoid cone cut errors by specifically directing the X-ray beam toward the center of the receptor. The Unigrip Universal Sensor Holder is designed to provide an entire full mouth series using only one holder. This video will demonstrate the time-saving feature of the Unigrip 360 holder in its easy rotating tab. This rotating tab allows the clinicians to slide the bite piece along the channel enabling the clinician to take anterior, posterior, and bite wing x-rays. The Unigrip positioning arm and ring can be utilized with the Unigrip 360 sensor universal holder. The positioning arm and ring is color coded for quick assembly to align with the image being captured. The color coding of the Unigrip 360 holder is the same as the original RIN XCP system, blue for anterior, yellow for posterior, and red for bite wing. The Unigrip arm and ring system offers a small hook feature to allow the clinician to rest the cord out of the way of the patient's bite and preventing cord drag. The Unigrip 360 sensor holders are disposable, but the Unigrip arm and ring system is autoclavable for up to 100 cycles. To assemble the Unigrip 360 for use, insert the sensor into the opening of the RIN universal cover. While holding the sensor at the bottom with one hand, begin sliding the cover down over the sensor until it reaches the top of the cover. Do not push or pull on the cord to place the sensor into the sensor cover. Use of this barrier does not replace the cleaning and disinfection of digital radiology sensors. Please clean and disinfect digital radiology sensors as described in the manufacturer's directions for use manual. Tightly wrap the arms around the sensor and barrier to keep it snug. Wrap the bottom tabs up and around the sensor and barrier. These tabs reduce the movement and potential misalignment of the sensor during use. To use the Unigrip arm and ring for paralleling technique, simply guide the arm onto the end of the Unigrip 360 bite piece until it snaps into place. Slide the ring onto the arm using the appropriate color to ensure proper adjustment for the type of image being captured. The arm can be adjusted on the bite piece in several locations, allowing for comfortable placement depending on the patient's anatomy and or presentation. The Unigrip arm and ring system offers a small hook feature to allow the clinician to rest the cord out of the way of the patient's bite and preventing cord drag. When taking anterior images, slide the bite piece from its starting point down the main channel and set it into place at the bottom of the sensor and base plate. Note that this will take the bite piece along the blue edge or at the bottom of the sensor's active area. After placing the arm and ring, 
visually inspect to ensure the holder is in the center of the ring. For optimum patient comfort, place the sensor in the center of the patient's mouth and instruct the patient to close slowly. Utilize the small loop on the side of the arm to hold the sensor cord out of the way. For use with the shallow palate, place a cotton roll under the bite piece to aid in patient comfort. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. The bite piece can rotate anywhere on the base. Before moving the bite piece to the next position, it is easiest to fully rotate it 180 degrees, always go back to the center or neutral position before moving to the next area. For posterior images, slide the bite piece into the desired position as indicated by the yellow lines. Center the bite piece with the sensor's active area. The bite piece allows for a wide range of adjustment as needed to accommodate the patient's presentation. After adjusting the bite piece, position the ring on the yellow indicator hole and flipping the ring around to accommodate an upper or a lower posterior image. Place the holder in the center of the patient's mouth to maximize patient comfort during the procedure. If the patient has a shallow palate, use a cotton roll under the bite piece to aid in patient comfort. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Bite wing radiographs are considered part of the routine dental assessment. It may be five to seven years between full mouth sets, and bite wing x-rays are an important diagnostic tool to monitor disease and health during this time interval. To properly detect caries in periodontal disease, it is essential to capture open contacts between teeth and maxillary and mandibular bone levels. It is important to ensure that the central ray is perpendicular to the image receptor. Placement for the premolar bite wings will often require an adjustment of the sensor to capture the distal of the canine and avoid overlapping. On premolar bite wings, center the image receptor behind the second premolar. For horizontal bite wing x-rays, slide the bite piece along the channel to the center of the Unigrip 360 sensor holder base. Turn the bite piece as appropriate for a horizontal or vertical bite wing. To open the contacts and reduce horizontal overlap, the x-ray beam must be parallel to the interproximal spaces and not to the teeth being radiographed. To maximize open contacts for bite wings, attach the Unigrip arm at the end of the bite piece farthest from the sensor as shown here. This will ensure the patients don't bite down on the positioning arm. Then position the ring on the red indicator hole designated for a bite wing image. It is important to ensure that the central ray is perpendicular to the image receptor. Placement for premolar bite wings will often require an adjustment of the sensor to capture the distal of the canine and avoid overlapping. On premolar bite wings, center the image receptor behind the second premolar. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Similar to the premolar bite wing, the central ray must be perpendicular to the image receptor when placing the molar bite wing. It is essential to include the distalmost portion of the second molar or third molar if present. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Thank you for viewing this instructional educational video brought to you by Dent Supplies Serona.